Well, hello, everyone. Today I come to you in front of a bare wall. Perhaps you now feel like you have a lot of bare walls in your household as you remove all the holiday decorations, as the Christmas lights get taken down, the Christmas tree put away for another year. There are some bare walls around the church, too, as we take down the Advent and Christmas decorations, and they are stored till next year, next season as well. I want to thank that crew who are just an example of some of the people who come in to help uh, change the seasons in our church, the work that often goes on hidden in the background. I want to thank those folks for taking their time to come in and help uh, get the church ready for the Epiphany season and get all that Christmas stuff uh, put away. As we now enter into fully the year 2023, we are back to a normal schedule with two services on Sunday morning and our Sunday school hour is back. This month, we will have our Theo Thursday on January 19th at 11 a.m. at Simon's Restaurant. And then at the end of the month, the Cards Fellowship Group will be back. Details of that are in the newsletter, but that will be taking place at the home of Al and Linda Radefeld this month. As we look forward to events in 2023, call out a couple of items for your calendar. Ash Wednesday is February 22nd. We're already working on that for the Lenten season. And also, if you haven't already, mark your calendars for Sunday, May 21st. On Sunday, May 21st, we are going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of our congregation with one united worship service and a catered meal at an off-site venue that will occur following that service. So mark that on your calendar. Again, that's May 21st. We have some other exciting and interesting ideas to celebrate our 50 years in ministry here in Brexville. You'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks. I hope that you will take an opportunity to plan and be part of these events as we celebrate not only our ministry in the past, but also look forward to our ministry together in the gospel in the coming years. And in the meantime, as always, take care, dear church.